All right, so in this video series, we're going to look at some remote sensing related topics. And a lot of this will be applied, so, you know, actually working with data and our software and, you know, doing a bunch of different types of analyses. So to start off with, I'm going to discuss how to find data. Um, there's lots of options now. Um, so, for example, there's government websites, a bit, you can stream data into your software. Um, what I'm going to demonstrate here is Earth Explorer, which is a USGS web page. Okay, so to use the Earth Explorer, you're going to have to find it. Um, if you just do a search, it's just earthexplorer.usgs.gov. Um, note that there are Again, other options, for example, Glovis, there's the, the LP DAC, um, the Europeans, the ESA, they have their own sites. Um, this site's generally pretty easy to use, so I'm just going to use it as a, a simple demonstration. Um, so note this is a government page, and to use it, you have to have a login, you have to have login credentials, so if you're, you're going to have to create an account if you want to use it. Um, it's safe, you know, it's a government page, so don't worry about um, creating an account. It's, it's actually really easy. And you also have to, you know, provide an email and stuff because it will send you um, the, your results via email sometimes. Okay, so um, what I want to look for specifically is some optical data, um, and I want to find some data for um, the area around Zurich. So I'm... Um, that note it automatically loads in this base map. You can change different base maps if you want. Um, the default is this imagery, as we rolled imagery here. So we're just going to leave that. Um, so I'm going to zoom in here to Zurich. Zoom in pretty far because I want to limit the amount of uh, data I get geographically. So what I want to look for specifically is some Sentinel-2 data, which is similar to Landsat, but it's uh, hosted uh, by the Europeans. Okay, so let's, to, to start off with, uh, we need to set some search criteria. So I'm going to click on Use Map. That defines the geographic extent that I'm interested in. So we're interested in only tiles that intersect this extent. Um, note you can also upload a KML file or a shape file if, to define your extent. Okay, so that's that. Another thing we want to set is the date range. I already put one in here, or put a range in. So I'm going to look for images from April 1st, 2017 up to August 15, 2019. And then we want to go to data sets and find the data set we're interested in looking at so, or, or searching. So just a couple examples of some of the data that's available here. We have Landsat Archive. We have, um, we have some, the, some data from the LPDAC, like MODIS, AVHR data, uh, radar data, um, digital elevation data. I think, like for example, the SRTM data is probably in here. Um, maybe not. There's a couple other data sets there. Okay, so what we're specifically interested in is Sentinel-2, so that's what we're going to look at. Um, so it's under this Sentinel heading, and we'll click on that. If you have never clicked on this before, it'll generally pop up a message just telling you that, you know, they get the data from the ESA. It's like a cooperative agreement because it gets European data. Okay, so there's that's the sensor we're looking at. Once you have a sensor selected, you can go to Additional Criteria, and you can set some criteria. So um, the Sentinel data is tiled, so if you knew you were looking for a specific tile, you could import, input the tile number there. The entity ID is an actual ID for each individual scene. So if you knew you were, if you were looking for a specific scene, collect on a certain date, and you knew that number, you could put it in there. Um, cloud cover is generally really interesting or, or useful. So you can look at a wide variety of different cloud con contamination. So I'm going to set it really low to uh, 10%. And again, this is an estimate, so don't expect it to be perfect. Um, some other options, we have platform. So Sentinels actually two separate satellites to carry the same sensor, the MSI sensor. So we have 2A and 2B. I'll just, I don't care which one. They're pretty much identical in terms of the data. So we'll just leave that to all. Okay, so that is our other criteria. 
And that should be everything. So let's hit results and see what we come up with. Okay, so now it populates with a bunch of tiles. Um, so we've got a pretty good, pretty large set here. We have seven pages of of options, and then it's just the a task of going through and trying to find the tile or tile or tiles that you think would be most appropriate for what you're trying to accomplish. Um, I had already did a search and I found one from. Let me go back a couple pages. I found one from. Let's see, which date was it? This one. So um, I really like this image from, um, this is October 12th, 2018, collected by Sentinel-2A. There's its um, ID, and that's the tile number that it's associated with. Uh, if you click on this image icon, it'll draw it so you can see the extent there. So you can see it's a pretty clean image. Um, it's in October, so it uh, looks like we're starting to have some, you know, like senescence and stuff in the mountains there. Um, one reason I picked this area is just as a side note, is there's a lot of different types of land covering this small extent. So we've got some large extents of water, some like barren areas up in the mountains. We have a lot of development and some like pasture agriculture and some forest extents. Okay, so that looks like a pretty clean image. Just a couple other notes. If you click on the foot symbol here, it just shows you the extent of the image. Um, this shows you the metadata. So you've got a thumbnail there and then a bunch of data. So um, acquisition times, tile number, cloud cover, uh, platform. Again, it's a bunch of information there. Units, resolution, geographic extent. Okay, so when you read, when you find something you want to download, there's a couple options. You can add it to this bulk download. Um, you can put it in your cart and submit an order, um, or you can just download directly, and that generally works if you just have like one tile that you want to collect or or to obtain. So I'm going to click on this since I'm only interested in this one tile, and we're going to hit here. We'll hit download, and that should download. See, we have two options here. This is a full resolution browse GeoTIFF format. So that's kind of more for just visualizing the data. See, it's a lot smaller. Um, what we want is this L1C, so it's um, level one tiles, uh, JPEG 2000 format, and it's 781 megabytes. It's like like three three quarters of a gig so it's a pretty large data set note that if you're not logged in you won't see this information so you have to log in to actually be able to download anything all right so i'm just going to download there and we should get redirected to download and then the data will be available once it's downloaded. So for this video, I'm going to cut it here. Um, we'll, when we come back for the next video, I'll have downloaded the data and we'll work with actually doing some pre-processing.